Welcome back, fans, to Sports Fan Network. Jay here. You know, we're going to take a different road this week. Normally, we're talking sports and our weekly wrap up here on our section of the weekly roundup. But, you know, we're going to talk politics today. And we're not going to get into, you know, Republicans, Democrats, which candidate's better. And, no, that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here really to talk about is what we as a country need to do. We need to become unified. Versus right now we find ourselves in the crosshairs. We find ourselves in a tough situation. There seems to be a lot of debate going back and forth on which president is right for us. And a lot of hate on both sides towards uh, Mitt Romney and the president Barack Obama. And whoever wins this debate and wins this election is going to have a tough you know, road to hoe. Uh, President Barack Obama came into a tough situation, and I think he's done a pretty decent job. Could he have done better? Sure. Uh, has he made mistakes? Absolutely. But you know, so have other presidents. But I think he's done a pretty good job uh, thus far. Uh, Mitt Romney, if he comes in hand, he's going to have to, you know, prove to everyone that you know, he has a backbone. He's going to have to prove that you know he's just not a, a guy who's going to run the country like a business. You know, he, he economically seems kind of strong, but it's the other parts, you know, the other aspects of being a president that, that scare me. His ability to lead, his ability to have a backbone as he's flip-flopped so many different times. Uh, but whoever wins this election here coming up in early November, we as a country need to stand behind this person. Uh, this person is going to be the leader and the face of our country for, you know, four more years. And, you know, if we are sitting here debating back and forth, bickering on both sides and really preventing anything from getting done, we're going to have another tough four years. And that's why I'm here saying, you know, whatever decision is made, whoever is selected as president, we as a country need to stand behind this person. Because fighting amongst each other is not going to solve any of the problems, any of the issues that we have. It's going to make things worse. Uh, you know, President Barack Obama, he's had to, you know, fight through those, the, the, these situations where Republicans are so against him that anything he tries to do seems to get pushed away. And anything they try to do, he tries to push away. Is that really best for what, you know, if the American people? You know, if Mitt Romney gets in office, you got to wonder the same thing. Is, is he going to be stuck with the same well, you know, you want to do this, but we want to do that. And you know, What's best for the people? And that's what I'm here for talking about. Is we need to d get together and decide and unify and make sure we do what's best for the American people. And I believe that coming early November when we decide who the president is going to be, we're going to have to stand behind them. And I know we will. But to continue the bickering back and forth like we have for these past four years is not going to get it done and it's not going to help anybody so that's it that's our weekly roundup that's our little segment we'll get back to talking sports next week i'm jay and everybody have a great weekend